Hi everybody and welcome to the launch of uh, Social Me Too. We started as LinkedIn Me Too because we thought that the, pro the platform uh, was just generating some disgraceful um, usage uh, by people and bad behavior. We wanted to stop that and then we met Suyapa who, uh, hi this is Suyapa, and we had a, a coaching session with her and uh, I won't say that it was because of you but it happened pretty <laughs> fast after we spoke. Uh, so uh, introduce yourself uh, to the uh, viewers. Of course. Uh, my name is uh, Suyapa Rosales. I'm a holistic mindset coach and my purpose in life, my passion in life is just to see people growing to the best. So as you were saying, uh, social me too is not because I did it, it's because you guys did it. You know, we just had the proper conversation and it just came from you and Gregory and that's where social me too has launch and uh, looking forward to see your project going wider, you know, because I think it's a great cause behind it. Unwanted behavior, social media and beyond, you know, I mm. think it's great, you know, so looking forward to see you guys growing and be part of your path. Well, it's, it's interesting because, you know, it, it, it's kind of accidental um, and I'm incredibly privileged insofar as I don't suffer from this kind of thing but like a conversation we were having before we started recording just having a connection with someone that you're speaking to virtually is a skill in and of itself um, yeah. and it's yeah. a bit unnatural because to get people's empathy you need to be looking at them and not at their picture on the screen because otherwise you're not connecting with them. So we want to connect with, I've invited all of my female connections uh, to join the group, which you could do. Basically, mm -hmm. um, we want stories because there are lots and lots of them to start sure. being posted on that group by members. We mm -hmm. understand, I, I have connections that are getting harassed or sexualized mm -hmm. every day. Yep. We don't get through a working yep. day without something. So no, definitely, me too. <laughs> there you go with social. Me too. Me really? too. Really? Oh yeah. And uh, yeah. And uh, actually, uh, I remember when we started to talk to each other. Hmm. You know, I didn't because I was new to LinkedIn. Really, I joined LinkedIn family about four months ago. You know, but I've been in social media for a very long time. I started in Facebook, like talking to my friends. You know, and. Uh, and only my friends, but when I launch my own uh, my own purpose in my own life, which is uh, my my coaching practice, I start to go more into social media, you know. And uh, and LinkedIn, I've never been attacked in LinkedIn, but now I'm starting to. I had I had already two examples of males that unfortunately they don't understand that I'm a female, uh, and and I just want to. Uh, help people to become the best version of themselves in order to achieve what they want in life because life at the moment as far as I know is the one we're living so I want people to live their life at their best and there are people out there that unfortunately they look at you and they say oh I'm gonna I'm gonna try to date this woman you know and that's not the right approach you know and uh, even they try to uh, sort of um, either uh, try to use uh, your sensitivity, you know, like, oh, you know, uh, could you send me money, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I have said in the past to them, you know, I'm happy to don't even charge you or charge you very little for my program to help you to actually get where you want to be, but, you know, and uh, some of them, they want to get even my personal number and that's yeah. something actually uh, it's something at the very beginning of my journey, I used to put my, my number on my social media platforms. I actually had to stop that and get people to DM me because it was too much. And that thing that we shouldn't be living in, that's, you know, women's, we shouldn't be suffering these things. But what I like on your project, uh, Jonathan, as well as Gregory, which is the other people, the other person in social media, is that you're trying to, uh, build up awareness of this big problem we have 